Meanwhile, just across the street, Salem Field looks a lot different these days as the new temporary home of the Blue Jays. Now those games start tomorrow with the Miami Marlins in town, but don't expect to see it in person or even get close to the field because as our Danielle Church reports, they've made a lot of security changes at the ballpark. Well, there's obviously a lot of excitement here in the Queen City because tomorrow is the first time in more than 100 years that an MLB game will happen in Buffalo. That's according to Mayor Byron Brown, who says because fans aren't allowed inside the ballpark due to the pandemic, the city needs to ensure that there's plenty of security in place outside so that way fans can't gather. You'll be able to see some of those security changes right outside Salem Field already. They include barriers and fencing covered by a green screening to block any views. So there will be no real place to view the game from outside of the stadium. Uh, the Blue Jays have went to extensive lengths to ensure that. Captain Ronaldo also says there will not be any tailgating allowed outside the ballpark. There will also be several road closures around Salem Field, both before and after the games. In some areas around the ballpark, the sidewalk has also been completely closed off. Opportunities, if you're hoping to watch yeah, the games on TV, that's tricky. Belt. They'll be on Show the Yes the Network when they play the Yankees and SNY when they play the Mets. But otherwise, you'll have to get an MLB TV subscription and watch online. Bison's president, Mike Butchkowski, says if you do watch, that's when you'll notice several of the changes made. The Buffalo Bisons also posted several pictures of the ones inside the stadium on Twitter. For example, the batting cages have been turned into a locker room. The dugout, some entrances, and even home locker room have also been completely remodeled. The Blue Jays are footing the bill for all of that. And Mayor Brown says whatever overtime city employees accrue while providing that security at the ballpark will be paid by the Blue Jays. In Buffalo, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.